Alright guys, it's the next morning. Um, welcome to this video. If you haven't seen the part one of this um, camping trip, make sure you watch that. Um, but today is day three of my camping trip and it is clinic day. We're going to be doing a intro to endurance clinic with Luna. And yeah, so being it's my last day, I am kind of just starting to pack up. It's like 7 a.m. right now. And I have to be at the other side of the campground in about an hour and a half. So, made my coffee this morning. I am gonna fold up my blankets and just start putting things away because I am gonna be in kind of a hurry to leave when the clinic's over. So, might as well just start packing things now. So at least they're eating. So, and I've tried it and it actually works really well. And I put it on the ground, I don't tie her up, I put it on the ground where she can roll around and go back and forth to the buckets and walk over here and get water and I just stand there and make a dude rope and I've just found that works the best. Okay. So, oh man. Because if yeah. I tie her up, she just stands there and looks at me. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 Little things you learn. Well, it is. It, it, it's just like, so yeah. I just put like four little buckets down with all different stuff, a couple piles of different kind of hay in the water bucket, long lead rope, and I just sit in my chair and it's like whatever she wants to eat, I just, as long as she's eating and drinking, I'm happy. I guess I don't care what it is, as long as she's ingesting something. Yeah, so they seem to be eating something, yeah. keeping their gut moving. And that makes her happy, so it works. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I'll touch on nutrition hydration. I think you know, some of the basics. You can do more reading and research yourself on what works best for you and your horse. Uh, at least for those rides. Oh, yeah. Locally, you need to go to their even extra website. If anybody has trouble with that at all, and you're not on our Facebook group, call me or email me. It's, it's a little confusing at first. Yeah. You have to click on their schedule and then the ride name link, and then it has the ride flyer with instructions. Yeah. It's not super obvious. Um, <laughs> we have a uh, website set up for our ride that links straight to the form, the entry form. We tried to really spell it out there. Um, but for other rides in New Mecca, we would. Um, You'll have to follow. Where are you listening? I mean, are you listening too far forward? I can hear it. Listen back to the flank. I hear mine in the middle. I don't hide behind it. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, all right guys we just got done with the kind of sit down seminar part of the clinic um and now i'm just walking the half mile back to my trailer to grab lunch it's like noon right now so i'm gonna so yeah i'm gonna grab a bite to eat and then get luna tacked up and then head back there to do the mock ride yeah tacked up and walking back up to the group now I don't know how much film I'll get on the ride because I feel like we're gonna trot a good portion of it but yeah 
somebody did not want to be caught in her stall this morning. I think yesterday was quite the workout for her. So, but yeah, we're going to head back up and then they're going to do like a mock vet check and then we'll head out. Marilyn Bam. Good girl.
right, we are loaded. I'm gonna head home. It is two hour drive home and I need to be home in time tonight to do an assignment. So, yep, I think we've got everything I need. Should probably make sure I have my phone charger up here because I need to use GPS basically the entire way home and